Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. In today's video, I'm doing something I haven't done in a very long time, and that is review a Quest 2 head strap. Now, this was sent to me by a company I can't remember the name of. They sent me a few things to review, the Quest 2 cover, the facial interface cover, and the head strap. And I also got a pair of control grip covers. I'm not gonna be reviewing those because they're not that great. Um, so let's just get started right into the review. This is a protection cover for your Quest 2. This goes right over the front of your headset and it does what it's supposed to, which is keep your uh, your VR protected, but at the cost of overheating. My issue was since there's no venting holes on the bottom and top, my Quest 2 got very hot even when playing only Oculus Link, which isn't nearly as intensive as using a native app. Overall, that is the main reason why I won't be recommending this product. It is not that great. This is an interesting product. It goes right over your foam interface, but another one I can't recommend because it just is so stiff and it isn't comfortable at all to having your face. It also has a, the built-in nose slap, which is to keep light from coming underneath your uh, face. It's not that comfortable to having your face and I don't recommend this product. Now onto the main part of the video, the head strap obviously. And this is one of the worst head straps I've ever tried, uh, mainly due to the overall quality of the leather. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it is actually starting to peel off from both sides. And this is only about after a week of use. After receiving this head strap, I quickly upgraded from this to the Bobo M1. It's it's a comfortable headset at the start. The quality issues are prominent and it's really, really hard to overlook that. The knob isn't that great either. Let me just... If you use it for fitness games and you turn your head a lot, it's not gonna just go flying off your, head, your uh, Quest 2. It keeps a good grip on your Quest 2, uh, mainly because it just slides right on to the sides of the Quest 2. You cannot actually replace any of the foam because it is glued and not Velcroed. Uh, really quick, I wanted to let you guys know that this does have movable sides. You can move it like this to get the best result. For, but for me, it's a little too uh, tough to move. You actually have to put some pressure on it to actually move up and down. and Overall, not that great of an experience with the head strap, you know, with the peeling. I don't recommend this product. There will not be a link in the description. And the point of this video is not to completely hate on all the products that were featured in the video, but to more or less give feedback so that way the companies can improve on making better quality head straps and accessories for your Quest 2, resulting in a much better overall experience. But if you guys liked the video, you know what to do. Subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, retry check yourself. Peace.